We came here to learn agency and how to use our agency and, and how we use our agency to choose God when we live in a world of choices. Mm -hmm. So happiness is one of those choices that we need to make. Can I just add, I find that news to be both empowering and disappointing <laughs> at the same time because sometimes I really want that external thing to be the thing that will bring me happiness. I was 30 years old when I got married and um, that seemed old to me <laughs> at the time. Now it seems very young, but um, I remember thinking once I can find my husband and get married in the temple and start having a family, then I'll feel happy, then I'll feel at peace. And so it's somewhat disappointing to discover that you're still yourself when you get there and that there is still both the opportunity for happiness and unhappiness. And at the same time, it's the best news ever because it means we don't have to wait for anything to change before we can seek to find that happiness. Well, can I add, you wait till you're 30. Here I am, 60, <laughs> Keep, right? And then that's one of the things that I had to learn yeah. is if all of my happiness is centered on finding someone to love me, then I'm going to have a horrible life, right? So, And he's was, not going to do it right, by the way, yeah. once you find him. Yeah. So <laughs> then there'll be that. No. So there was a period of darkness for me, and I had to kind of work through that. So how am I going to find happiness that's independent of external things? Mm -hmm.